Jackson play in ten. Is ten too much? <laughs> Let's go from it's five. just no. I, I want to give ten just in case, just to give people the the the, the last sort of ten ten seconds. Um, ten. Season, season one, episode two. Season one, episode two. Bunk off in ten, nine, eight. Oh. Jay, yes, I've gone through the ads. I've done the ads. Everyone's ready to just press play in ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. That might be useful to somebody out there. This is weird. So, James, how old were you during this filming of season one? During the film of season one, I was 19 years old. And I'm 31 now. It's a long time ago, mate. Yeah. And uh, so no one, no one knew who we were at all whatsoever. I got a feeling that this was actually the the, the pilot you filmed. Uh, this was the pilot episode, yes, but it was we refilmed it. Yeah, because you was actually playing somebody. You was playing a different character. You was I playing... played Neil in this episode. Yeah, so a pilot is when someone's trying to make a series and they, they make it to show it off and if people like it, it works, so they do the whole series. And when they did that originally, you was playing Neil. Yes. And you was filming this episode right now. So it's kind of weird seeing... It is a bit odd watching this. Already there's been gay. Check out the Jugosaurus Rex. Not going to comment about <laughs> them. It's, it's an <laughs> odd... I t- we'll tell you one thing though. Mm. The Ar- Arobi Pro Frisbee is fucking brilliant. Yeah? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, me and my eldest boy Harrison, we really got into it. Yeah. Yeah, in the garden. We're just lobbing it to each other and trying accurate, to. Accurate, accurate. Yeah. Ish. We're trying to see how long we could do it without dropping the. You can place it. Yeah, it floats. Nice. It really is good. Can you crack your volume up a bit? Weasel, can you, um, never mind. Can you still see it? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, don't worry about that. That's Henry Lloyd Hughes, who plays Mark Donovan, who is the poshest man in the world. (laughs) Is he really? Because he's playing a hard nut here. Yeah, but no, he's incredibly posh. (coughs) His dad used to, or was, or something, was like manager of Deutsche Bank in London or something. Oh, right. Not manager, but fucking, I don't know, on the board or something. Right up there. Yes. Quite posh, quite eccentric, quite fun to be around, quite interesting. Is there any particular story behind Jay's haircut? Well, because it was... I had had my hair... I had my hair... I've always had that sort of mod haircut style. That sort of weller... Um, the fringe and the, yeah. the sort of, but that was just. So that's that haircut. Is that but... Ian and Damon just trying to make you look as I... silly as yeah, possible? Yeah, probably. See, the problem was was that what I try and avoid doing now, after doing the in betweeners, is not letting makeup people d- cut my hair. Oh right, why is that? Because they they it's sort of like. Makeup people are sort of like a jack of all trades. Yeah, they're not necessarily always the best barbers. Sure. Uh, so you end up like that. You end up like a he- with a haircut. They're just it's just incredibly bizarre. But you know, iconic. It is iconic. So <laughs> some would say iconic. As long as it's funny, I think that's all that matters. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look at Joe Thomas's hair here. I mean. Mm. It's kind of hilarious, slick. Also, like people stop doing their hair. That like that's like a nineties haircut yeah. that Joe Thomas has got. That sort of quiff at the front. None of the haircuts really made sense, apart from maybe Will's. When was the last time you watched this? I oh, mean, 
I think from what I've I understand, got absolutely no idea. You've never I've got, really watched it properly. I've got no recollection of ever watching this. And presumably, you wouldn't have been here on this day of filming. I might have been there at some point. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm not in the, in this scene. This is all shot around. Sort of near Watford. I can't remember what it's called now. For some oh. reason, I want to say Abbots Langley, but that might be because oh. I'm remembering something else. Greg Davis, he's looking nice and trim here, isn't he? Oh, Greg Davis! Look at him. Even the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Look, <laughs> he's so close to the ceiling. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's Abbots Langley. Yes, thank you. Uh, used to be my old roads. Oh wow! Yeah, we were there for a while, and I, and people kept letting us come back for every so, series so and the first film. To change the category, is that important? Oh yeah, I should change the category, shouldn't I? To what? Just chatting or something? I in think. real life, is that it? Is it in real? I just chatting. Help. Yeah, that do. Thank you very much. Forgot about that. So that's inc- an incredible outfit. You must have had a right laugh. Yeah. So the thing I remember about this, uh, doing this, was um, this scene here, was that there was a church bell that kept ringing. Right. Good acting from me there. Um, and it's... Uh, <laughs> And it just kept getting in the way, the way of the scene. And Joe Thomas kept singing along with the church bell. I mean, those sort of things aren't going to be fine. How can you sing along to a church bell? Bong, 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 bong. Right. Ha <laughs> 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 this good <laughs> I don't know if the in between is as good as I thought it was no it is good it's, it's quite funny <laughs> also I think there's a bit there's a bit coming up where uh, I think we accuse Neil's dad of being gay obviously because that's the worst thing in the world that you can be when, when you're a teenager when you're a teenager at, yeah. at a school um, yeah. and he I think he has a line I might be wrong. I don't know if it's in this episode. I think he has a line that says, no, my dad's got loads of porno mags. Right. And they're all straight. And then I think Joe goes all straight. But he did... He, he did it really... The first take, he did it really, really over the top and we couldn't... We couldn't stop laughing for about <laughs> half an hour. He just went, all straight? <laughs> right, that's insane. Why are you doing it like that? <laughs> Uh, Ephos has made a good uh, point here. It says, why do the fans know it better than the actors? Because you'd have watched it a lot more than me. This is actually quite painful for me to watch this. Look, terrible trainers. Awful fitting jeans. <laughs> oh, this is it. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> you, can, going, you can you, you can, can tell, tell that there's a, cut, there's a cut there. There's a very <laughs> jolting cut. You can tell that Joe's had a note that says, "Don't do it that big." <laughs> all straight. No, the first time he did it was all straight. It's <laughs> <laughs> good. James, did you ever bunk off school when you was uh, or college? I mean, I didn't go to college. This is weird, isn't it? Like, this is set in college, right? Yeah. So this is sixth form. So, yeah. aren't, I mean, aren't they legally allowed to just not turn yeah, up? So anyway? when I went to sixth form, I quite often didn't turn up and was 
doing all sorts of silly stuff. Listen, you've poked a hole in that I've only <laughs> just thought of that nobody has put to me just yet. I think you've opened up a can of worms I there, feel, Matt. To be fair, I think it's different for certain schools. Like, I think if, if the sixth form's appended to the school, I think you still well, carry the rules over. Actually, I think, it's, I think it's law to stay in education until you're 18 now. And I'm not really? sure when that kicked in. So it might have been around this time. Yeah. Have I aged? Have I aged much? Uh, well, you look older. Yeah. You don't look worse, though. Well, the thing is, I never look good when I'm on television. What I look is really fucking tired and stressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you don't sleep properly. No. And you're usually throwing up your lunch because you've been mucking about. I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember they kept, like, force-feeding me vitamins when I was on. Oh, really? What's yeah. keep you alive? Like, yeah. he's going to go down. I think it was, like, Leo was one of the producers in the show. She was very worried about my <laughs> health and my eating <laughs> habits. <laughs> and obviously, when you become like, did they have catering, like, and they could see what you was they, picking? They had catering and stuff, but also they were worried because obviously your health is like really important to them. If you're the star of a show, yeah, they want you to carry on living, please, because if you die in the next sort of couple of weeks, one, it'll fuck yeah, up. So the, well, it's a big the waste shoot. of money for them, isn't it? So they really. <laughs> so they, I remember Leo was proper sort of just mothering me. <laughs> I can't believe this is what I used to get to do for a living. You still do, doesn't it? So they, in this, I don't know if they did this in, in every series, but they keep doing like loads the of little, jolting. little pop-ins. Yeah. That's to give you a little cue that this is a joke. No, it's just to in, make in, the, scene, the scene seem less boring. <laughs> it's funny that you say that, because I remember you, you gave me like, a cop, like an early re- copy of this, like, before it went on TV, and I, I did notice that. Yeah, that it was boring. No, the the, the little 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 jumpings. You bummed her. There's a bit of television history right there, and it is history. It's in the annals. <laughs> it's ancient history now. But look at these boys, right? I fucking love them so much. We spent so long together, seeing each other every single day. Basically living together. Why do we have to get old, Matt? Sad, isn't it? Do you know what Joe and uh, Simon were up to whilst this was filming? Was they in university? No, they'd left. They'd They'd graduated. Simon was... um, Simon was taking a break from doing his doctorate in philosophy or something, or English literature. Right. And obviously, like after the in between has kicked off, he he um, decided to not pursue that. Yeah, but I wish he did because I don't I'd... like how the circle, the the O, like is clearly like he did that. Shut and then, up. Okay. Welcome to television. Yeah, yeah, like the the the, the stage hand or yeah. whatever it's called did the rest. That would have been props department. Props. There you go. Um. They're just little idiots, and they bless them. They just don't know what they're doing. Who's that? Well, what these guys? These characters. These these, characters, these boys. Yeah. You ever done anything embarrassing for someone you fancied back then in the old days? No, I was always really fucking scared of being embarrassed. <laughs> I once gave a. I once got a Chinese calendar from a Chinese takeaway and I wrapped it up and gave it to someone I fancied like when I was like old, old enough to know better. Right. <laughs> that was about I just need an excuse to go around and see this person. Oh, I got that Chinese calendar that you wanted. <laughs> yeah, I know you like Chinese food. <laughs> was the calendar different dishes? Each month. I think it had the telephone number on it. (laughs) 
So presumably in those bottles, that's water. That'd be water with... Um, like tea? Like, is that what they use? Just food colouring. Right. Frothing at the gash, yes. That was the voiceover line. That wasn't even... ADR? Yeah. I still can't remember what that stands for. Audio... Dialogue replacement. That's what I'm going to stick with. Oh, did you say that last time? Was we talking yeah, about this I've before? I've looked it up and it wasn't that. Oh. oh. <laughs> and for any of you... How takes it this take? <laughs> <laughs> for any of you ladies that are wondering, that is how I look. Business. When I am doing the business. <laughs> End of part one. We're now going to watch some adverts. Yeah, adverts if you're on so DVD. Pools. Pools. Uh, SAS Who Dares Wins. That's on Channel 4 at the moment if you're interested in that sort of thing. Bear Grylls not involved. Famous and fighting crime. Famous and fighting crime. Is that what they just said? What? Oh, they get celebrities to go with the police. Sounds good. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, it's my mate Steve. Is he saying, stop what you're doing? You're embarrassing ah. yourself. Got to, I'll text him back. We're still on adverts, guys. How many adverts have we still got? Still on adverts. Oh, we're, oh back. we're back. Right. Have a little pause. I'm going to do a countdown. In fact, let me just... Um... Oh, no, I shouldn't have done that, should I? I'll no, don't it. touch it, though. Right. We're back. Five, four, three, two, one... Clear, pl- play. <laughs> Is that clear? And to, to remind everyone, James doesn't have the Inbetweeners on DVD. No. Oh, don't. If someone knocks on the door now, that's going to be the worst thing in the world. No, we're all right. So we're walking past. And Emily Head, there is Carly, who um, did very well putting up with. I mean, because we were, we were just you, as you, disgusting and puerile. And um, Emily, Emily, was she joining in with like? Presumably, you idiots had like a load of banter, yeah. and were mucking about constantly. Was she there rolling her eyes? Presumably, no. Nope, didn't roll. In? Didn't roll her eyes once. I'm sure internally. <laughs> she, her eyes were firmly fixed in the back of her head. Yeah. Um, but she was only ever lovely oh, to all of us. POV shot, eh? You see that? It's good. It's good filmmaking there. It's like 2001 Space Odyssey. Odyssey. No, Space... Odyssey. Space Oddity is the Bowie song, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. So the, the first series was actually directed by um, someone else... And then Ben Palmer took over from the second series, right? Up until the second film. So Ben Palmer's got like a a, a good, he's a good pedigree. Is oh right? yeah, oh yeah. Ben, is oh, Ben Palmer Bush? Oh, yeah. Is is it Bush? Who's the who's guy that worked with Mighty Bush? No, that's Spencer. Ah, who worked on the In Between us. Um ah. Spencer was Bush. Ben Palmer was was a uh, bow selector. Oh, right. Stuff like that. Um, which... <laughs> oh, people... Sorry. That caught me off guard, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did do shocking. Is this the one where Simon throws up over the kid? Well, we're about to find out. So that shot there. Yeah. Presumably he had some sort of concoction in his mouth and spat it out. And then so, there's, a, there's the, 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 you've got the pipe thing. I think. Yeah, so there's a pipe thing by the side of your mouth. And uh, we used different versions of this sick pipe thing. Right. Uh, throughout all of the in us oh, at some point or multiple, another. There's yeah. multiple six. Okay. Not once did that thing fucking work in the way that we wanted it to. Oh, really? No. Shot out too hard. 
dribbled. Uh, yeah, it was just, or just didn't look like it was coming out of the mouth. Right. It just was, and, I, and we, we kept, um, we kept going back to it. <laughs> there you go. That's gross. It does make me. <coughs> what? Sorry. James! It does make me feel sick. We're just talking about how it was fake. I know, but. Have you got a thing? I never could handle. I can't handle anything to do with sick. But you, for someone who throws up so much. Alright, let's exactly. change the subject. Let's change the subject. I've got a very gonna, quick gonna stomach, go, aren't you? But I used to. <laughs> when we used to do scenes, so like there's a scene in, in, in the final episodes where we're all on a tent throwing yeah. up on each other. I vomited all the way through that. Isn't that because you farted in the tent? No, that wasn't because I farted in the tent. I don't. I don't f- fart and make myself feel sick. <laughs> I don't know. I do remember um, in the outback. I threw up. I properly threw up on the engine. I don't even know if that even made it into the film. That bit. That sequence. Oh, not real sick. Like. Park. I was supposed to be sick, right. but then I, because I was pretending to be sick, I <laughs> made myself be sick. Because <laughs> I was heaving and stuff. It was, I was thinking, oh God, that is gross. Oh no. Here we go. Martin Treneman. Who also has a really good little cameo part in, in the bush as well. Really? Yeah, in um, the Mod Wolves episode, the Jungle Room, mm. he's the um, the locksmith. You know when they when he does the flute and the locksmith turns up. Yeah. Oh, he just does. He gives in them the thing and then he's gone. Well, he appears and he says, "Oh, you've 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 done the wrong number, mate. I'm on duty. Do he's on duty. Da. Yeah, yeah. Do and he just that. magically appears, and then he improvised when because he magically appears. He improvised just going, "Don't be using that wrong number." Well, I walk home, do I? <laughs> Good. Thank you very much, Psycho Killer. Can't I can't get that graphic to be right. Not appearing in the right place. N- no. Alex McQueen as well is absolutely amazing. And I think he used to do it on purpose. He used to do the O'Neill thing, and sometimes he would do it so big that there was no way we could get through a scene. He'd walk into a room and just go, Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, presumably, the, his brief was to, like, camp it up. Like, to. to... I don't think so. Oh, okay. I need to watch... I've, I've not watched Demon Sweden as much because you're in it. I know, yeah, it must be annoying. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gets sick of me, did not yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, like, it's been so long now that I actually think I could watch it. It is funny. And the voiceover was all added after we shot everything as well. Like, it wasn't... We didn't have voiceover in the script in the first series. It was just Is it like get... Blade Runner where they made a... Pretty much, yeah. It was like, <laughs> we need to explain what's going on. <laughs> I'm wearing a pair of like Nike plimsolls here and I've got rid of them straight away. Why? I didn't think they were funny enough. What I did s- you change them to? To like? Air Max 95s because I saw my mate wearing them and I thought they're fucking stupid. Uh, pay Palo lad. Thank you very much, mate. <laughs> yeah, oh, Greg's fucking brilliant, isn't he? He's really good. Oh, there you go. Oh, well, there you go. They're just so stupid, they don't even <laughs> realise they're not bunking. They're not really bunking off. Right. <laughs> that's my little friends <laughs> I love the episode where um, yeah, they're organising the dance Greg was actually a teacher in real life you're, you're right sorry Matt I was just going to say I love the episode where they're organising the uh, dance I think it might have been like towards the end of season I think 2 it's, uh, no I think it's the last episode of this series ok yeah and uh, <laughs> Will like Simon Bird is organising it and he's like thanks Phil 
He's like, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot they did these sort of like recaps. Oh, the, the sepia the... Yeah. tone. Did they carry that on in the second? I don't, I don't know. There we go. Oh, well, that was... It was all over so quickly. It was quick, wasn't it? Yeah. It was quick. Why, why don't we talk to the chat and maybe do another one afterwards? Let's, well, oh, I don't want to watch another one, Oh, mate. okay, okay. Oh, that made me feel uh, queasy enough. Wark. I feel like the wark, and get correct me if I'm wrong, is like a thing that Gervais pick, and yes. Ian picked up. Because I, so, I heard on the radio show Gervais doing the wark. Yeah, wark. yeah so that was... Um, that was how the production company came up with their name. It was because of... Because uh, Ian Morris and Damon Beasley, they used to work on the 11 o'clock show. They used to work on Meet Ricky Gervais. And um, they used to call each other chicken a lot. And just like <laughs> if someone if someone right. sort of like uh, wouldn't do something, they would just go... Bwark, bwark, right, like right. that. And so they called their production company... <laughs> And then when you're having a fucking actual meeting or something, or you're talking to someone serious, like in television or something, and you go, oh, I've got, I've got to go and speak to the people at Bwark later. <laughs> and then you get people, is it Bwark or is it Bwack? Or is it... <laughs> the Bwack. I don't know. Bwark. I don't know. Has anyone got any questions in the old, um, in the old comments? Um, we can... Uh... I enjoyed hearing some of the background and inside story on the show. That was basically what I wanted to do for the 10-year anniversary. I thought it would be more interesting. And obviously, what would have been more, even more interesting was having the other boys, because we would have all remembered other stuff and remembered all the things that we did to make each other laugh. And that's what I thought the 10-year anniversary was going to be. Um, Favourite episode to film? So I get asked this quite a lot, what my favourite episode to film was, and uh, we, you don't ever film them in sequence. So, you know, we'd have the house, we'd have the estate location where all the boys would live, and we'd spend a week and a half there in filming all the different houses, that of all the scenes from the series, and then we'd spend a fucking... I'll tell you what, because we used to, like... I think pretty much every episode is sort of like top and tailed in the common room. So we'd end up spending two weeks in that fucking room. Right. And you'd go insane just sitting in that room all day, every day. <laughs> so, so but I guess maybe a better question would be, what's your favourite, what was your favourite scene to film? Can't remember. <laughs> Cannot remember. Okay. Cannot You've got fond memories of the ever. tent. Fond memories of the tent. Uh, I mean, obviously we shot that inside. All the interior of the tent was shot yeah. inside. Well, the reason I bring up the tent is because we did. I did mention that you farted. You said you were sick in the tent, and I yeah. thought I thought you did fart in the tent. Genuinely, I've, I'm sure I've heard that. Somewhere. I farted everywhere, but I think there's an <laughs> out, I think there's an outtake where because um, we're mic'd up, you can you can hear us very clearly. Yeah, and they're they're putting the ball on to you know clap the clapper ball to sync the sound, and uh, as I were doing that. The camera's on me, so we are shooting. And I just said, uh, oh, I did a little fart. And then what this assistant director or we usually say, is like, right, thank you, we're going to start now. And so I went, doing a little fart. And then the assistant director said, thank you, straight after I said that, even though I wasn't <laughs> talking about me doing a little yeah. fart. And I just went, mm, you're welcome. Like that, I just looked at the camera, and that made it into the outtakes. <laughs> Uh, the reason you guys farted to throw up was because you. Uh, the, the reason you guys started to throw up was because you farted as part of the script. No, was that not Neil, or was it because? Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I sense, think yeah. I think it's because we all had we all had undercooked sausages or something. Yeah, I don't right. even know. That sounds about right. I might be making it up. Uh, James, this is from Neil. Are you content that Blake ended up as Neil and not you and you got to be Jay? Could you have done Neil justice? Right. Well, see, the thing is, I think Jay was a funnier character. Apart from the second film, Neil was my favourite character in the second film. I thought Blake was so good in the film where we went to Australia. Um, look, I can't play all the parts. 
<laughs> you can't, James. Can I can you? only play one of them. And uh, <laughs> you did have a lot of great lines. Yeah, I think Jay Jay was really really start the show a little bit. Thank you very much. No, because that ridiculous. Yeah, I also don't think that's true. I think it, I think what's great about the in betweeners was there was moments for all four of us to to shine as well. We all got a chance to to be funny and to um. There wasn't sort of. Yeah, I think as as an, as an ensemble. Well, to, as an ensemble. To to, to 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 come on to the end of that, like I think maybe you you've walked away with the much more recognisable quotes. So like everyone was sort of equally funny See, I don't in think the that's show. True. But you said the most ridiculous things, and I think they're easy to sort of you know recall and say. So a lot of, a lot of the other stuff would be like actual jokes. Maybe that's like, like bum doing stuff like that. Yeah, I guess that's, other, that's the other business. <laughs> and see, no one says business to me. I'm no. surprised that didn't catch on. <laughs> yeah. There was the episode where we did, um, where we went to, and I'm never going to remember all of them. We went clubbing. I think it's in series two. We went clubbing in London, and it was like the writers decided they w- <laughs> wanted to make catchphrases. That, uh, but none of them ever caught on. Well, to be fair, bus wankers caught on. There was another one, flippers. Yeah, no one says that. No one says flippers. No one says it. Flippers. And, um... <laughs> that didn't catch on. There was it's a... quite funny, though. Like, Well, it was because Ian Morris went out in a pair of shoes once that were really long and flat, and all his mates just started going, <laughs> Oh, are you wearing your flippers? <laughs> flippers. That's where the, That's where all this stuff comes from. Um, no problemo. Yeah, was that? Is that Bart Simpson? Yeah, obviously not even like our catchphrase. I, I know that Neil says that a lot. Also, simples. That simples was the meerkat. The meerkat. <laughs> That's the. I know, but people people do. <laughs> There's memes of my face like uh, that the, they use the, the J, and it's like just do this. Compare simples. the market must be livid. I tell you, they've spent all that money on marketing. And it's attributed to you. Simple. Well, it was just because it was a it was a part of the public public consciousness at the, at the time. Yeah, and it was supposed to make you as a character look like derivative. Yeah, yeah. And another thing they did with that was when I did the the impression of the crazy frog. Yeah. But I'd never seen the crazy frog. Really? No, because I knew my brain's really good at sort of going. If I see something on television or on the radio or something like that, my brain is super quick at going. Like switching it over, and then I go, "Oh, what's going on here?" And my brain goes, "Don't worry, you're not going to like that. You're not going to get involved with this." Okay. So it was a whole thing that completely passed me by. And they said, "Can you do a crazy frog impression?" And I was doing, I was basically doing an impression of an impression that someone was telling me. Okay. And another one, another uh, situation like that is that uh, Simon Bird. Has never ever watched Star Wars. You've told me this before, which mm. is shocking because he's such a little nerd. <laughs> and um, <laughs> when, when he had to do the Yoda impressions, mm, feisty one you are. Yeah, yeah. He just had no idea who Yoda <laughs> was. So, uh, who briefed him and said, "This is how Yoda sounds." I can't remember, but I remember <laughs> it being fucking funny watching him do it. Uh, all friends. That's yeah. That's a good one. Just and it's so simple as well. Oh, friends! Oh, I mean, yeah. that was um, Gervais was involved in that uh, oh, situation really? as well originally. Yeah, who's that? Oh, it's just a friend. Oh, he got a friend. Oh, friend. Oh, he's got a friend. Where's your friend? Okay, I didn't just know that. Anything, anything to take the piss out of anyone. Um, don't forget the thumbs up. Yeah, see you later, mate. <laughs> see you later, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry your hand is on my throat. Beepity beep. Beepity beep, yeah. Beepity beep. That was, that was a bit. Time for another tower update or something. Um, I said friend to my friend who was talking to a teacher. (laughs) What? I don't know why I read that out. James, were you asked to put your own personalities into your characters or were you told to be uh, most outrageous as possible? Yeah, well, obviously, 
people that have been watching the YouTube channel and watching my streams on Twitch know that my personality isn't as, unfortunately, entertaining or funny. So, no, <laughs> I wasn't asked to put my personality in it because it would have been very low energy and boring, basically. Mm. But yeah, should we play? Is there time to play another game of something? Or are you done? Do you want to go home? I don't know. I'm alright, mate. I've been streaming for about eight hours now. How are you feeling? I'm feeling alright. I'm feeling alright. Listen, 